Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode. Well, just tell us what Mego figure it is. Come on, Jess, buck up! It's still Martial Arts Month! What crappy old line of Migos is it? It's new Mego! Oh, this month is getting worse all the time! Oh, come on, Jess, it's just one figure! Oh, yeah? And it's the greatest martial artist in pop culture history. Steven Seagal? Steven Se No, it's Bruce Lee! Oh, that makes way more sense! It's Mego Bruce Lee! Raz Holly, hit the music! Way back in the 1970s, martial arts movies went from underground cult hit to mainstream, becoming a genre that endures to this day, and you can blame that endurance on the very real star power of Bruce Lee. Born in 1940 in San Francisco, California, raised in Hong Kong, the son of a Chinese show business family, Lee would spend his early years as a child actor and studying martial arts. Returning to the U.S. to attend college, Lee would continue acting and even had some success on TV in the U.S. before returning to Hong Kong to further his movie career. Lee would eventually combine his two careers, martial arts and acting, to become the world's first international martial arts movie star, breaking box office records in Hong Kong and the U.S. His life was cut short, however, at the age of 32, Lee passed away suddenly of a cerebral edema. Even though he was only around for a short while, Lee cemented a legacy that has lived on for nearly 50 years since his passing. In 2018, Mego Corp was brought back and the first few waves were honestly more missed than hit. But Mego persevered and would eventually get their footing as some of the more recent figures have been pretty okay. That brings us to Bruce Lee. Can Mego live up to the legacy of the dragon? Probably not. But for $12.99, how bad could it be? Let's find out and take a look at Bruce Lee by Mego. Okay, so from 2018, the Legends series, Marty Abrams presents Mego Bruce Lee, eight inch action figure, 14 point articulation, official, limited edition action figure with original detail and quality. Here he is in the package, as you can see. Um, it is from 2018 when they were still numbering the figures. Mine is 1,040. And uh, there he is, and it displayed, posed with his uh, leg slightly bent and up, and holding some nunchucks with a little clear rubber band, it looks like, uh, because their dumb little Mego hands can't hold shit. Um, yeah, and I know those nunchucks are probably trash, but here he is, uh, nicely displayed. I don't really have any problems with this, uh, this box design at all. We have the flames emblazoned on the, on the box with a, uh, a photograph, an image of, uh, the one and only Bruce Lee from Enter the Dragon with the, with the scratches, which is, uh, from that final scene where he fights the, the main baddie and he's, he's getting all scratched up with the bear claw thing or whatever. And he's got a scratch on his chest here, but he's covering it up with his hand and he's got a couple scratches down the side of his face. So you can see the likeness or whatever. Make your decision based on what it looks like in the package because you can pretty much see the entire figure before you even buy it. Um, so there you go. Again, from 2018, the Legend series of Mego. This was $12.99 when I purchased it at the store. I believe I found this at Target. Um, so, you know, just kind of do the, do with that what you will. I know they have raised the prices on these a couple of times. I believe now they are $14.99. Um, something like that, if you can find them out in public. Um, the, the scalpers have kind of lightened up on these. Um, I think a lot of them took a bath on a lot of these figures they didn't realize that there wasn't that big of a demand for them and uh and so now um we're able to find a lot of these figures kind of out in the wild as we turn the box around we see an image of bruce lee from uh big boss 
Um, when I was growing up, uh, the movie was called Fist of Fury. Um, of course, I did not know that at the time that Fist of Fury was a movie that um, that, that came out in the United States as uh, the, the Chinese Connection. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot of, a lot of fucking <laughs> confusing shit going on. I don't know why they just didn't just call it the Big Boss uh, when they released it here in the United States on on home video. Um, but uh, yeah, very cool movie. A movie I actually watched more times than Edge of the Dragon, Game of Death, uh, Way of the Dragon, so on and so forth. The m movies that are more popular. Um, uh, the movie Big Boss, when it was called Fist of Fury on VHS, was a uh, was a staple in my home growing up. Uh, watched that movie a million times. Uh, great, great fucking movie. If you want to want something cool to watch was the first big Bruce Lee martial arts movie uh, and to me still fucking is still the best it's like one of those things like the like Commando the quintessential Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Big Boss or as it was called when I was a kid Fist of Fury uh, is the quintessential Bruce Lee movie uh, we have the Bruce Lee logo across the top here and our our famous Marty Abrams uh, blurb ah! Give me one figure, nice and cold, all for twelve ninety nine. But get them until the price goes up. <laughs> we also have the trivia here. How many movies did Bruce Lee appear in as an actor throughout his career? The answer, of course, is twenty. Um, as a child star and six as an adult. Um, and as we uh, we turn the, the box back around, um, when we take a look at the, how the figure is displayed, it looks very nice and I can no longer wait any longer. Let's get this figure outside of the box. One thing I will say about Mego, uh, no twist ties, no bullshit, no rubber bands holding the figure into the box, at least in this instant. And uh, I take him out and he is good to go. Stands up pretty fucking good. Looks like they used the, the little moccasins in rubber. Hey, look, they gave him socks. Um, figures Toy Company, fucking take notice. Socks, not, not hard, not hard to fucking apply to your figure, and uh, will make uh, all the difference in the world when we're taking a look at him. If he didn't have the little socks on, he might he might seem a little cheaper, a little shittier, kind of like these fucking nunchucks that are just, oh my god, look at, oh, this fucking, get out of here, get this fucking stupid rubber band out of here, get this crap, it's like boogers on the figure, get out of here. Um, so, but let's look at him as far as pose wise. God damn, dude, he looks great. Fucking, wah, hey, ha. He can do all the kicks, punches, and poses you would like him to do. Still a banded figure with rubber bands inside, but poses pretty well. But, uh, but man, oh, I'm having a good old time with this. I haven't opened up Amigo in a while. Um, and I do like the uh, the modern Mego body. They do feel a little bit more sturdy as com in comparison to their older counterparts. I wish they weren't, uh, they didn't have the rubber bands and the little metal hooks and all that bullshit running through them. But besides that, um, they are, they're good figures. Um, they're, and they're very difficult to break. Look at that. You're not gonna break Bruce Lee. He's not going anywhere. He's, he's the dragon and uh, man, what a great, great looking figure. We've got some nice looking details on it. Um, what do you guys think of the uh, the likeness here? Does this look like our, our friend Bruce Lee who portrayed the, the, the hero in Enter the Dragon? Yeah, a little bit. He does look a little bit like it. I mean, I'm saying, you know, as far as Mego sculpts go, this is not bad. I would have preferred that we didn't have battle damage Bruce Lee as our only Bruce Lee figure, but you know, you kind of get what you get when it comes to these. So that then if you want to make him look just like, you know, Bruce Lee um, without fucking a couple of scratches on his face, you have to you paint it, figure out a way to get this removed off of there. And that becomes a whole other barrel of fish. And you know, the average Joe Schmo isn't into fucking customizing all their action figures. Other than that, his uh, costume fits pretty well on him. He's got his, uh, his, his martial arts pants on. Um, no shirt 
And as we turn the figure around, we don't have the the, Mag the Mego fucking logo on the back. Um, thank goodness. Uh, the, of course, the clothes are all removable. You can take all the clothes off, switch them around, put them on somebody else, put them in the Batman costume. Um, you can take this figure, paint them up, and make them uh, fucking Kato from, uh, from the Green Hornet. And as we all know, he was in that. But man... At the end of the day, fucking awesome figure. You know, this is another, another Mego figure for the shelf. Bruce Lee. Well, that's Mego Bruce Lee. What'd you guys think of this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. Please tell me there's no more Mego. There's no more Mego. Woo. Until next month. What the fuck? Razzoli, hit the music. <laughs>